Okay, well, I did some more work on this um, soda bottle motor thing. I went from the big bottle down to a miniature version of it here. And uh, there's something fun to play around with. I, I wanted a little model, a miniature of it. And, and I've got a super capacitor here that I'm loading up with uh, 3.7 volts or 3 volts or so. And the bearing on the bottom is out of one of these fidget spinners. And it's down there stuck on the bottom of the bottle, which is what I did on that bottle there. And instead of using the soda straw idea, I have a, uh, a needle uh, just stuck in a hole at the top there. Let me show you how this works. It's kind of cool. It's just a reed switch uh, driver thing. And um, I've got a little uh, magnet on the back here just to hold the rotor in position so that uh, it doesn't fire. I'll pull it off here. I'll show you how this works here. And this is nothing but a reed switch uh, pulse motor. But it's kind of cool. You know, it's kind of a cool little idea of uh, using a bottle with uh, some magnets on it, which is what I was showing there, that they're not attached to the bottle. They're just stuck on with uh, traction. And like I say, I've got a needle at the top and then the uh, fidget spinner bearing on the bottom. And um, one of these walk around things that I, I get a kick out of doing because uh, there was a project once where a guy walked around the house in bare foot, bare feet to show that there was no battery on it. And we all decided that what it was, was it was a capacitor that was running it. And then he showed his bare feet. It's getting winter, so I've got socks on it. But that's why I do these videos, because a lot of people spend a lot of time trying to figure out how he did it. And we're pretty sure what he did was just that. It was a capacitor that held the energy and uh, allowed the motor to run for a <clears throat> specified period of time, you know, while he was doing the video. But... Uh, it's just something kind of fun. There's the bearing for the fidget spinner. They're real good bearings on these fidget spinners. I got a store where I can get them for a dollar. And some of them have um, four bearings on them. So it's a really good source of the bearings. But anyway, that's just something that um, I played around with. And I enjoy these little projects. It's just a hobby. But it's just something that uh, I get a kick out of uh, doing and then sharing. And then somebody can pick up on the idea and then... Uh, maybe go further with it but yeah these fidget spinners if you can find them around cheap they're in four bearings for a buck and like i say they made a real good uh, pulse motor bearing and that's part of part two of the bottle motor <clears throat> thanks for watching